Question 8 on Eastern uh, and Southern Asia. Uh, a, uh, the German ambassador to Japan uh, has asked this question. Uh, it says, factors of, he says, factors of instability in East and Southeast Asia are of increasing concern. Fragile stability is at best guaranteed by the U.S.-Japan alliance and B, through security, U.S. cooperation with major regional players such as Australia, Singapore, or Vietnam. However, all of NATO's members, not only the U.S., have a stake in security and stability in that region. Might NATO, with its partnership programs, contribute to stability and security here? And if so, how could the countries of the region in turn contribute to security and stability in the Indian Ocean and or the Atlantic region? Uh, I think this is a critical question. And it's a critical question, including because the U.S. has announced that it will be shifting uh, focus, uh, not away from Europe, but also towards uh, Asia. I would say that the Asian countries have already contributed to Atlantic security in a very direct way, and that is in Afghanistan, where they all, or many of them, uh, play an important role. Japan, not militarily, but through major financial contributions. Uh, Australia, New Zealand, troops on the ground, South Korea has sent personnel as well. So that partnership has paid uh, benefits for us in the West because it is in our interest, of course, that Afghanistan finds stability. But of course, this is not just a mercenary relationship. These are countries, uh, certainly the four that I mentioned, with which we share common values. And we want to build a stronger and enduring partnership with them that goes beyond operational cooperation and will last longer than operational cooperation. So with some of the countries, we are discussing partnership frameworks, actual formal documents, with others, we're looking at slightly looser, more informal arrangements, but I think you will see deeper partnership with the alliance. Uh, I don't an anticipate uh, a massive shift by NATO, frankly, towards Asian security. As I mentioned, NATO is a Euro-Atlantic organization, uh, and I don't think our partners in Asia expect anything different. But I do think you will see the hand of NATO reaching out, not just to these four countries, but also to China, uh, also to India, uh, to, uh, to do more together.